Good morning once again from Malaysia. Since we saw you guys last in Georgetown, Penang, we have made our way over to the east coast of Malaysia to an island that many consider to be the Maldives of Malaysia. We are on the Parentian Islands, aka Honeymooners Paradise, and in today's video, we'll be exploring the islands to see if it lives up to the hype. So you guys, I'm already feeling honeymoon vibes here. <laughs> We're not on our honeymoon. We're not on our honeymoon. But it does <laughs> feel like pretend. a really good place to be <laughs> on your honeymoon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're staying at a place called Senja Beach Resort. Yeah. Um, it's actually really nice and we got a really good deal for our we room got... too. We'll show your room yeah. for a little bit. We got a wild last minute deal. Check this out. The beach. Oh, the beach is right here, but the houses or the resort. It's like right beachside, which is heaven. awesome. And then they have like uh, all these uh, little loungers right in front. Yep. And they have a small restaurant yeah. over there that takes forever to serve you food. It does, but the food's decent. The food's it's fine. It's pretty affordable. And there's Wi Fi. Yeah. We got a nice little lounging set here. <laughs> Easy chill couches. It's like. I feel like it's like all the old couches from all the grandma's houses <laughs> ended up here. Pretty good, it does. <laughs> Hang on. For some reason, sand sticks to me way more than it does stick to Nicole. I know exactly why it does. It's because he sweats more than me. It sticks to your legs. It's like the sand really doesn't stick to Nicole. It's just like she's magnetically <laughs> repelling sand. I need the key, my love. Okay. So this place is absolutely tiny, but it is incredible. Like the water is right there. So we don't really care. All right, welcome to what is going to be the fastest room tour ever because this room is very small. We've got a bed, a couple of lights, a fan, an air conditioning unit, which is really essential here. A couple of outlets, kitchen-ish space for the kettle, and a private washroom, which of course is wonderful. Uh, it does have hot water, not that I think you would really need it, but the killer part of this is that we got a wicked last minute deal, and I think we are paying, I think it's 115 ringgit per night to be here, which is like a wicked deal. So I know it was already pretty cheap, but we actually did a small upgrade so that we can get beachside. And I gotta say, beachside is definitely worth it. It's so awesome to just walk out of your bedroom and then be right in front of the loungers and the beach. It really just simplifies your day when you can just be in your bed to on the lounger in seconds. So the Brahentian Islands is actually two islands, hence Brahentian Islands. <laughs> We're staying on the small islands. I think it's called Queso Island. And that's typically like referred to as the backpacker island, like a bit of a the cheaper island, which is good for us backpackers. And we are staying on Coral Beach. I think the main beach is called Long Beach. So we're gonna take you to in a little bit here. But we chose to stay here mostly because we could get the wicked deal at this place and stay beachfront within our budget. But it's honestly so beautiful here. It's so quiet. Like for some reason there's just like nobody on Coral Beach. And I feel like we be not we don't actually have it to ourselves, but it kind of feels that way. I don't know why we need to move really. Like I know. <laughs> if we didn't hear about this and this other like better beach, I probably would think that this is more than enough. Well I don't even know if the other one is better. We're gonna go see if it is better. But man, this has been wonderful. There's a couple like cafes along the way, places for us to eat. You can even go snorkeling right yeah, here. Literally right off the water here. You can rent a snorkel set for a 10 ringgit and just like snorkel in off of the sand. So like you really don't need to leave but we want to just kind of see what else is here on the island. So we are li leaving our little coral island. No, what is it called? Coral, coral beach. beach Oasis. I just wanted to point out over there is the jetty. That's the jetty we arrived at yesterday. So to get here, we actually came, as you know, from Georgetown, Penang, and we took an overnight bus to Kuala Basut. From there, there was a jetty that you could pay, I think it was about 35 ringgit per person one way to get to the Parentian Islands. It made for an overall pretty long travel day with the overnight bus and then having to book the jetty and whatnot, but I think so far it's been really, really worth it. Fun fact, there are no roads on this island. Yeah. It's actually kind of, it's kind of cool. Everywhere you want to go is usually just uh, either through the jungle or on like a walking path like this. And it's every now and then dotted with the occasional resort. <laughs> so it's kind of neat that they have this whole like, uh, I don't know, like resorty setup and yeah. there are absolutely zero roads here. Zero cars, it's very cool. 
So apparently it's a, about a 20 minute walk. I think it's like just over a kilometer. Basically like across the entire like width of the island is what we're doing right now from Coral Beach to Long Beach. Um, and we're told it's only a 20 minute walk. We'll see, because it is like midday, which is definitely the worst time to go oh, walking yeah. in Malaysia. <laughs> Man, this place is hot. Well, I really thought we were going the wrong way because I see tents up ahead, but no, just found this massive garbage pile. Not exactly the best look for the island. Uh, this going between these two beaches, I'm definitely seeing way more trash than I've seen in the like half a day that we've already been here. And uh, yeah, now it looks like we found a place you can come and tent. If that's your thing, I really thought this was the wrong way, but we bumped into a local guy who's like, where are you going? <laughs> we said Long Beach. He said, oh, two minutes that way. We have found paradise yet again. This is amazing. The water is so gorgeous. There's a bit of a haze around us. I don't know why. I don't know why, but I think I think it's okay because I think it could be a lot hotter if it was completely free and clear and blue skies today. Because uh, right now it's really hot. Like my feet are burning in the sand. I have to dig in a little bit. I will say this beach is like nicer. Like the sand is nicer. Over on the coral beach that we're at, there is literally coral. <laughs> Maybe that's um, why they call it I'm that. I'm sure that's why it's called that. This. This looks sandy the whole way through. I think I figured out their naming system. The last beach was Coral Beach. This beach is Long Beach. <laughs> Very clever, you guys. Very <laughs> clever. <laughs> some loungers with uh, an umbrella and it was only 20 ringgits yeah which is decent because you get it for the whole day and it's yeah. 20 for the two of us so it's like yeah. 10 each and there's also a really nice mango and snack shop right beside us that i'm hoping we can take advantage of in a little bit to was, cool off i was hoping to find a spot that would like if you buy a shake or a coffee or whatever then you get the lounger for free but that doesn't seem to be a thing here so it's okay I'll just pay for this separately Oh my god, I'm so hot. <laughs> I'm ready to get in the water. You? I really need to get in the water. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> I can't get over the water color. And I can't get over the water temperature. It's so warm. It's not, it's not refreshing. <laughs> it's actually not that refreshing. I mean, it is refreshing. But look, not as refreshing as you'd want after a jungle walk. The Big Island there looks really tempting to go visit. I know. There's so much more to see, but like, there's tons to see here in the small island. Lots of little trails and beaches. So the thing is, is when Mika and I go on like holiday, we could literally just stay in one spot and not move for <laughs> yeah. 10 days. Go to the same chair and the same restaurant, have the same drink like every day for 10 days. Um, we're yeah. not doing that <laughs> right now. We're trying really hard not to. We're trying to explore get out more. And see a little more. Um, but yeah, I, we definitely can do that. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Mango shake. Thank you. Mm -hmm. All right. Cheers. Cheers. So a quick update on our situation. It's been a couple hours now and Nicole and I have just been basically doing nothing, chilling out. We got some more mm -hmm. iced coffees. These are so good. This is only, what, like eight ringgit? Yeah. Eight ringgit and uh, yeah, it's so delicious. But now I think more people are back from their day trip and now there's a lot of people swimming, so I guess it might start getting more livelier as the, as the night comes. But I think for us, we're gonna head back to our hotel and we heard that there's a nice place to eat dinner there, like a nicer restaurant, so we're gonna check that out tonight. All right, so we're headed to our dinner spot. And if I'm honest, I didn't think there was anything on like this side of the beach, like from our little villa, which is over there but the restaurant we're looking for the lady who works here said follow the black pipe <laughs> just this thing so i guess we're gonna follow this over those rocks for i think only 20 minutes and hopefully find a really nice restaurant at the end of it miko also really wants me to point out that there's a gorgeous sunset happening it is very beautiful this side of the island <laughs> this side of the island gets the best sunsets for sure that is gonna be gorgeous in like 40 minutes I love a good sunset and uh, when you're on a tropical island like this, 
it's like a nice way to cap off the day, so I am really happy. <laughs> oh, look at him go. We are walking past like a hotel that I don't think has operated in a very long time. <laughs> I'm pretty sure this lizard lives here. They're evidently disturbing his peace. Wow, you can like stay here. I mean, it's quite cute if you get past the fact that it looks like it's gonna fall off the cliff. <laughs> Are you about to be murdered or something like that? Yeah, it looks a little cozy. Miko's like, I feel like we're in the Blair Witch Project. <laughs> no. Yeah, okay. Maybe a little bit. So we'll run down. Number 11 or number 12. Number 12 looks like it has a bit more security. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. <laughs> Bad spot, they did it. Not a bad spot. This is a really nice place. They say they've got one of the best sunsets on the island. So. I think that's that's gonna be true. Now. I think so. There is a big cloud though. I'm just hoping I'll disperse the colors <laughs> instead of taking away our sunset. So we are we're really spoiling ourselves tonight. We came to like what somebody recommended to us, like a restaurant that someone recommended to us and said it's the best restaurant on the island. It's definitely more of an expensive place for our budget, but. Still overall, though. Still overall, really affordable. Uh, and I got sweet potato gnocchi. What? Looks so good. Looks so good. I don't usually get like Western food because it's usually more expensive. This is worth it. And I got barbecue chicken and sweet potato fries and a small salad, so. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, that's good. I'm sorry for chicken. When's the last time you had a sweet potato fry? It's been, a, been a long time. It's been a long time. Wow, that's so good. Mm. This may just be the perfect way to end a pretty perfect day. It's been a pretty good day. See you guys tomorrow. Good morning! Today is the day where we do a little bit more than pretty much yeah, relaxing all day. <laughs> I'm super stoked. So this area is known for an excellent diving and of course snorkeling, but as divers, we're of course going to take advantage of fairly well-pressed dives as well. I think they're 100 ring each. And uh, we're also going to take advantage of the beautiful crystal blue waters that have great visibility. I have a feeling today is going to be a really good diving day. It's going to be an awesome diving day. Oh, this should be easy. It is easy. <laughs> you look amazing. I look ready to dive for one. <laughs> You're ready. <laughs> I won't lie, I don't often carry my own gear to the beach, so <laughs> this is a good start. <laughs> like good. Get, getting it's a little leg workout in. A little exercise. It really is. Make you get in the water, it'll be a lot lighter. <laughs> a lot lighter. Alright guys, we are back from diving. Um, we just are starving, so we just went straight back to the restaurant in front of our hotel and got ourselves some food. So you're having lunch with us now while we tell you how the diving was. What do you think? The, the wreck was super cool. I really liked the yeah. wreck. As we approached it, it was just like all of a sudden, there was all these barracudas, like these giant fish. Yeah. And it was like, I'm like, where's the wreck? Yeah, it was just like a big ball of fish and I couldn't see mm -hmm. what was past it and then all of a sudden... All of a sudden they're like, scatter as we get closer. Yeah. I'm like, oh my god, it's a whole wreck. Yeah. That was really cool. I've never actually like 
dove no. on top of like a wreck like that. It was really cool we've to see. Ne we've never done a wreck death before. Yeah, I didn't realize like how dangerous it, it mm -hmm. felt like because there's all these like sharp rusted metal yeah. that's sticking out yeah. and I thought it would like, you know, if you get too close, if you're not, you don't know, get your buoyancy you. right, it would cut yeah. you. I felt um, like, a, it was like a lot of mental energy went into making sure that like every part of me wasn't touching something and there was like ropes everywhere and I'm like, mm. oh my god, I'm gonna get stuck or my tank's it, gonna get stuck. It was really it cool. Was, it was really cool. Then the second dive was just the coral. We like went along to like a coral bed and just like the ocean on one side, the coral on the other. And honestly, if I'm totally honest, I was disappointed. I felt like the, there weren't a lot of colors. There was, wasn't as much marine life as I expected. The visibility was not as good as I mm -hmm. thought it would be, considering how yeah. like blue and clear the water looks yeah. from the surface. It was surprising. And it, it was such a beautiful day today yeah. too. Our uh, dive master said that like it's probably just the current is bringing in like a lot of stuff right now, so the visibility in the bottom wasn't as good as I'd hoped, which was too bad. But I'm glad we got to do the wreck dive. Overall, I think it was a really good dive, and I think it was another like good way for us to practice uh -huh. our diving because uh, we're not by no means are we experts, but we're no. getting more and more comfortable, which I'm mm -hmm. really like. Mm -hmm. Well, we uh, <laughs> had plans to walk to a different beach and find a nice secluded beach, and then we decided, nope. No, we want to just stay we, right here at Coral Beach. We don't need to go anywhere. Why would we go anywhere? The weather's so much better today. So we decided, so like, nice. why spend the time to walk through a hot, sweaty jungle? When we have these incredible chairs and yeah. this beautiful beach right here. We yeah. are very sorry if this vlog isn't as entertaining <laughs> as it can be. But you know what? That's what that's what the Parentian is all about. It's, it's just about relaxing. About. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. On our honeymoon. <laughs> We're not on our honeymoon, but I keep saying that. But it really feels it really, like it could be a honeymoon. This would be an incredible honeymoon spot, honestly. But I will say, you definitely need more time than we've given ourselves. I think, <laughs> like, we've only had two full days, okay? And that yeah. was a mistake. We did it because of money. The deal was only on for so long that we could get a cheap room. But if you could stay for longer, I think minimum three full days here, four oh, nights. If yeah. you could do, like, six or seven days, that would be just, like, amazing. Like, if, truly amazing. If possible, a month. <laughs> we could that, stay on. That, that, that should probably quench your thirst a it's little just, bit. You got everything here. There's even internet. Like, what more could you want? So there are a bunch of other beaches nearby Coral Beach and Long Beach that you can go and check out and just like in walking distance. I think we might have left this one a little too late though. <laughs> we are now at another beach, um, which is beautiful and I think we'll have a really good view of sunset. So I think we're gonna try and find a spot here maybe. We would have loved to go to some of the beaches a little further down because I think they'd be even more private. But uh, yeah, we don't have that kind of time before the sun sets anymore. Well, this is uh, turning out to be quite the journey to this uh, private sounding beach. Uh, it's a little bit of a hairy uh, walk over these rocks and uh, I'm not even 100% sure it's gonna be worth it, but I think if anything, we'll have a beautiful view of the sunset and uh, a place to ourselves, hopefully. <laughs> Maybe this wasn't such a good idea. Okay, we found what I think is a better beach. <laughs> Thanks to the drone. Yeah, we were flying the drone up in the air and all of a sudden I see this nice looking beach with nobody on it. Just not too far away from where we were sitting. So operation, find a nice secluded beach for sunset. I think it's a success. Success! <laughs> Nico's like, I want to show more of the area. I'm like, what is there to show? <laughs> we got the water, we got the sand, <laughs> there are the trees and it's only us. <laughs> To be fair, um, there's also not much of a sunset to show you because it, it's gone behind the cloud. <laughs> As we climbed over the rocks, we lost the sunset. <laughs> well, you guys, we hope you enjoyed this vlog. It's been a bit more of a chiller, <laughs> relaxed vlog, but I think that really embodies the spirit of the Parentian Islands because yeah. I think it's just a nice place to get away and feel like we're on our honeymoon. <laughs> if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't yet subscribed, please do that as well, and we will catch you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.
Oh, I hit him.